Hello everybody. This is my show and tell. This is my second attempt at recording a show and tell for you guys. I was going to give you a tour of the food bank because most of you haven't seen it and it's a really cool thing that I'm proud to be a part of. <laughs> but I recorded the whole tour. I attempted to record the whole tour. I gave the whole tour. Um, but about 20 seconds in, I accidentally stopped recording, hit the little record button without noticing it, and then from there on out for the whole rest of the tour, every time I thought I was recording, I was turning it off, and every time I thought I was turning record back on, or the other way around, yeah. So what I ended up with was a lot of like random video of me just walking from tour point to tour point, then turning off the video talking to you guys for a while and turning it back on to walk to the next place. So that did not go tremendously well. Next time around on the show and tells, perhaps I'll attempt that again and do better. <clears throat> but I was thinking, um, instead of doing that, what I would do is talk to you guys a little bit about meditation um, and take you through a meditation session, just a really quick, short one. Um, so that you guys can see what it's all about. So, to break it down into really, really simple terms, um, a long time ago when people were first getting into the practice of meditation, it was all about trying to understand the true nature of the self and what we are. And it started out with this practice of um, identifying something and saying, maybe this is what I am, and then finding the reason that that's not what I am. Like, oh, well, I'm my body. Um, but no, my body dies and changes and ceases to exist. Um, so clearly, I am not my body. Or I am my intelligence. Oh, but if I go crazy or have a brain injury, um, or even as I get older, I might lose my intelligence so clearly I'm not that um, or maybe I'm my talents or my capabilities or my relationships uh, or my personality or all of these things and one by one going through the process of going nope that's not what I am um, those are just external trappings of the thing that I really am and what it they eventually boiled it down to was that there are are two selves the real self and the false self. And the false self um, is referred to as the ego, and that's all of this extra stuff that we have going on. And in modern Western culture, often when we talk about ourselves, what we're referring to is um, what in Eastern tradition they would refer to as the ego, the false self. Um, but then the true self is often referred to as the observer. And what that is, is the part of you that can identify all of the things that are in your ego. So you can say, this is my personality. These are my talents. These are my relationships. These are my physical characteristics. Um, there is a part of you that can see those things and that is the observer. Um, the observer <clears throat> doesn't have any of those identifiable characteristics. And um, in Eastern tradition, the observer is the part of you that is the most divine, the closest to God, and the truest part of who you are, your pure identity. And so when you're meditating, what you're doing is trying to let go of all of those other things and just be the observer for a few minutes, for however long you're meditating, um, to take you closer to your divine self and closer to God in that way. Um, so what we are going to do, I'm going to do um, just a brief meditation exercise with you guys. So we'll start out by doing a guided meditation exercise called running the energy. And then after that, we'll transition into doing a silent meditation. Um, so it will be a period of a few, we'll, I will do like 10 breaths. We're going to keep it really short. Um, but 
I recommend at least 10 minutes a day of silent meditation. Some people do even more. Um, but during that silent meditation, that is where you are striving to be the observer. So um, to just let go of the rest of this false identity and just be your truest self. Um, a, I think a good way to think about it, um, that is probably pretty relatable for a lot of you, is I have heard people in the church talk about how you, we, as Latter-day Saints, want to become so close to Jesus Christ and reflect the attributes of Jesus Christ so much that when somebody looks at you, they don't see you. You're like a window um, and they see right through you to Jesus Christ on the other side. Um, so that's when you're being the observer. You're trying to have all of this ego disappear so that you are just that divinity and that's all that's left. Um, so there's many people consider it to be the purest form of prayer. Um, and that's how I like to think of it too. For me, it's a pretty spiritual experience. Uh, but sometimes it's just a soothing experience too. It's different every time. All right, so we're gonna start out with running the energy. Um, so you can sit cross-legged or in a chair on the floor, on your bed, wherever, comfortably. The main thing is that you want to try and keep your spine upright um, and then take your hands and form them into little circles like this and rest those on the tops of your thighs. And close your eyes and we'll start with a deep inhalation in and then an open mouth exhalation just push all the air out that's our cleansing breath there and now just breathe naturally and in running the energy um, there are a number of different things that you can focus on Sometimes people focus on peace, sometimes people focus on healing, or on um, just energy. But what we are going to focus on today um, to try and keep this as close to a prayer as possible is love, and not just general love, but the love of our Creator, the love of Heavenly Father. So what we're going to do is everybody focus your attention on the very top of your head. And imagine that there is a ball of golden light that's beginning to form on the top of your head. And that light is the love of Heavenly Father forming on the top of your head, focusing on you because He loves you so much. And every time you inhale, that ball of love and light gets a little bit bigger. And now, on your next inhalation, you're going to pull that ball of light down into your face. So now your face is golden and illuminated and filled with the love of God. And now it travels down from your face into the front of your throat. And from the front of your throat, it moves into your shoulders splitting in half and pouring into both of your shoulders and then running down the insides of your arms past your elbows through your forearms past your wrists and pooling into that space in the center of each of your hands and just resting there and warming your hands your hands are full of that love and that light and that energy and while that rests there, we're going to return to the crown of our heads where a second ball of divine love is beginning to form. And with each inhalation, it gets a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter and you feel a little bit closer to the love of your Father in Heaven. And with a big inhalation, we're going to pull that love down into our head. And it's going to fill our mind 
with the love of our Father in heaven. And then it's going to pour down through our spine, through the back of our neck, down through the center of our back. And as it runs down the center of our back, it's reaching out through all of our vital organs and filling them with golden love and light down into our tailbone and now it's pouring through our legs and as it runs through each of our calves through each of our thighs it collects the light that we left resting inside our hands it passes through our knees it passes through our calves and ankles into our feet and then from our feet it pours with a big release down into the floor or the ground beneath us. Now we're going to transition into that time of being the observer. So during this time you're going to try and empty your mind of any thoughts. You can focus on your breathing in and out or it might help to have a mantra, a phrase to recite in your mind. If you'd like to try that, then on the inhalation, think the word peace. And on your exhalation, think the words be still. And continue to repeat the phrase peace, be still in your mind throughout this exercise. If any thoughts enter your mind, don't harbor them, but don't push them away. Just acknowledge them, observe that they are there, and release them like a leaf blowing on the wind. Return to focusing on your breathing or your mantra uh, until the next thought passes through your mind. Observe it and release it. So we're going to take a few moments of silence to be the observer. And to end the meditation, take in a deep breath, and as you inhale, raise both of your arms above your head, joining your palms up above your head, then slowly bring your hands down, resting them for a moment on your forehead, then for a moment on your chin, and then down at your heart center, and then bow. And we end it by saying, Om Shanti 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 and Shanti is the Sanskrit word for peace and that is just a really quick meditation um, there are lots and lots and lots of different ways to meditate that's just one example of how to do it and I know this video was really long um, but I just really wanted to meditate with you guys so I hope you don't mind that it's so long. I love you, and I'll see you and talk to you and be with you later.